How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my Resident Evil 4 Remake Collectibles Guide. This is chapter 14. We are starting out getting a crystal or treasure. This one can be found in the cell when you spawn into the chapter, right here just on this flatbed thing. Sorted. Next up we've got the merchant request for destroying blue medallions. Blue medallions 5. So as you head through here you'll have to get um, Ashley to jump over a hole in the wall. She can open the door and you can find the merchant request just on the wall as you pass through here. It's going to take a sweet time. All right, Ashley, mate. You're not as cool as Jill. Relax. All right, so there it is. Grab that one. And just after that, we can find the last three shooting ranges in the game, 4A, 4B, and 4C. If you're trying to get the achievement or trophy for, or called Dead Eye, you're going to need to have gotten S ranks on all of them. So at this point, you've got all of the shooting ranges unlocked. So if you want to get that achievement or trophy, spend some time and get the S ranks on all the shooting ranges right here. I have shown how to get S ranks on all of them throughout these videos, uh, but these are the last three we've got to do. There's also a side achievement you can get on, uh, I think it's for a called Trick Shot. I'll show you how to do that. So on the, at the beginning here of 4A, you want to just aim for the skulls. On this part, you want to try and line up those guys and get the skull whilst taking out all three targets. Run to the left here to take out these three. Run to the right here to take out these three. You can also use the uh, riot gun right there to take out those targets if you don't want to run back and forth. It's up to you. So hit the skulls right here. Line up these two targets. These three targets. Those two targets. You can use the riot gun here to take out groups. And right here, if you switch to the Punisher, line up five targets, you can get the achievement or trophy called Trick Shot by getting five in one shot. Actually kind of easy to do if you just time it right. Onto the bonus area then. Try and line up some of these skulls with other targets. Make sure you're taking out the floating targets and move into the right position. This one can seem really overwhelming at first, but if you just practice a little, it's honestly not that hard. And that should get you your S rank. Hit all the targets so that you get all of the tokens for that one. Moving on to 4B then. This is my least favorite. Uh, although somebody gave me a tip in the video I made about this in the comment section that made things a little bit easier, which is kind of nice. So props to the YouTube comment section for helping out. I like to use the explosive mines to take out the guys in the barrels here because they're just annoying to hit in the head. Um, this guy can also be kind of frustrating. A pro tip. Again, this was given by the YouTube comment section. If you use the explosive mines on the targets with skulls, it does hit the skulls and count as you get in them. So, But I like to save them for the end. Use the mines to take out the barrel guys again. This area can be a little bit frustrating to hit all of the targets. You need to lead your shots a little bit. Hitting that skull right there is kind of useful. Hit your reload heal and then attach a mine. And then try and hit the target in the middle with the attachable mine at the front. And that'll take out two skulls and hit uh, all three of those chests, which is kind of useful. And then even, you should only have a few more to mop up. I was missing a couple of shots here. Need to hit that skull over there. Last one. And that'll get you the S rank on the bolt thrower one. My least favorite of the shooting ranges. A very annoying one, if you ask me. A lot of people really struggle with this one though, which is the shooting range. But I feel like once you figure out what weapon you've got to use in each section, it's actually not that difficult. Using the pistol at first, Switch into the rifle heel to take out these faraway targets in between the sailors. You've got a row of targets to take out. You want to aim for the head here so that you hit the targets poking out of barrels. I wanted to use my pistol to take out that last one because I want to save at least three uh, sniper bullets for this section. It sometimes takes four just in case you miss a shot on one of the guys in the barrels. That's why I didn't want to use the sniper for that last target. And also use the striker to take out the row of guys with the barrels and stuff. Reload everything here and get ready with the pistol after the reload time. Take out these enemies, hit the skull right there with the pistol. You want to hit all of these targets with the pistol. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Use the rifle here. Hit these scrolling targets. Look out for the skull right there. Two of these targets will overlap. I like to move to, le to the left for that last one because it's a little bit trickier to hit. 
This guy has a skull behind him that you want to watch out for and then quickly whip out the striker and just take out all of the barrels. Use the TMP to spray and take out all of these dogs. And then you've got to use the rifle to line up all of these guys and hit the target in the back, which is a skull. And also that line of targets right there. Shoot the dynamite there to take out the rest of the targets. Reload the sniper immediately and also the pistol. You need both of these done. Get the sniper out so that you can start shooting these chests. I was actually a little bit late here, which screwed me over. I'm trying to get these floating targets out of the way because they move a little bit quicker than these chests. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of them. Get that skull at the end. And that's your lot. As long as you use the sniper to take out the majority of those chests, that bonus time is actually pretty easy. But that's all of the shooting ranges. Hopefully you get your dead eye from following these videos. Alright, so next up we've got uh, the Alexandrite treasure. So starting from that same merchant location, come through this door. And above you, as you come through here, you'll find a lantern that you need to shoot down. Skip that cutscene. Look up here and you can get the lantern that's right there. Sorted. Okay. Next up, we've got the blue medallions that we picked up the merchant request for a little while ago. Destroy the blue medallions five. So starting from that same place at the bottom of the steps, uh, you can get a couple of them right here. One's right there to your right. Okay. And the second one is above you, kind of close to where we got that last treasure. Right there. Sorted. And now we need to head up here and drop down to the left to get the remain the remaining ones. Look out for enemies that are in this area if you are coming here for the first time. Head to your left when you reach this point, and the blue medallion is right there. Sorted. And over here you can shoot this blue medallion as well. Kind of missed that shot. There we go. And heading this way. Above the steps, you can see that last medallion in the distance. Feel free to use a snipe if you want to make these shots a little easier on yourself. But that's all of them sorted. All right, next we've got another treasure, which is the gold bangle. Starting at the bottom of the steps again back here. This is in the dumpster in the area. We were just shooting the blue medallions. But we'll come up here, drop down the ladder. And through this gap. And just on your left is a dumpster you can open. Which has the gold bangle in it. All right, so next we have a velvet blue treasure. As you're coming up these steps, you'll reach the area where you have to get Ashley to hold a switch and then she gets grabbed by an enemy. But before you do that, if you just come down to the left, along here, look up, you'll have a lantern just above the window. You can shoot down and get yourself that treasure. Look out for a few enemies that do spawn just before you get Ashley to hold the switch. So next we've got an emerald treasure. You can find this when Ashley and Leon have to sort of duck under these pipes in the sewers right here. And it's just over here in the corner. All right. So next we've got an ornate necklace treasure. This is still next to waste disposal. You'll have to get Ashley to hold this wheel so that you can head across there. So when you try and run across here, Ashley will get attacked and you'll be separated. You'll get attacked by one of the Regenerator enemies. If you ignore that Regenerator and just come back here, take out the enemies that are after Ashley, run across the bridge, Ashley will actually drop the bridge for you and get rid of the Regenerator. So don't waste ammo fighting him. But there's your ornate necklace. Now we're going to get the Merchant Request, which is even more pest control. We've got to shoot more rats. So there it is. And... Let's go ahead and sweep these rats up. So, rat location one, starting from that merchant. Again, we've got to backtrack a little bit here into waste disposal. Come back this way. And our first rat is just around this corner. There it is. Missed that shot. There he goes. Sorted. All right, so from there, we're going to go back and get Ashley to hold the bridge again. And in that corner over there is where the rat is. You might be able to see it at this point running around, but I couldn't. They do move about a little bit, so it might not be in exactly the same 
place for you as it is for me, but it'll be around here somewhere. Just have a little look around. There he is. Sorted. All right, let's go get the third one then. These two are really close together, actually. We're going to come all the way back around here. And they're sort of over here to the right where you have to press the uh, button. Keep your eyes peeled. You might see one as you're running across. Fourth one's here somewhere too. I think this one had kind of bugged for me and it was just stuck in one position somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Sorted. That's all of them. All right, so we've got another merchant request. This one's called The Wandering Dead. So this one can be found after you break down the wall with the Wrecking Ball. So when you come through next to this forklift is the merchant request. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit to get this one. So from where we just picked that up, Let's head back this way and open up this gate. Don't go any further forward. I'm pretty sure you can't. Well, you might be able to come back, but it's kind of a hassle because you have to take a really slow elevator. So let's do this first. You might need the stingray or a weapon with a, uh, well, the works with the biosensor scope. I like to use the stingray. Makes things a little bit easier. If you haven't got a weapon like that you can use, you might want to use a rocket launcher. Also, if you haven't taken out all of the Regenerador enemies. Um, you could use the rocket launcher if you wanted to. It costs 50k. Entirely up to you if you want to do that. All right. So get this bad boy out. Slap on the scope. We're just making space for it. Let's go ahead and put the scope on to the stingray there. So let's go back. We need to go back sort of towards where we were messing with the key cards for the freezer and all that good stuff. We're heading back that way. This is Ashley's cell, just in case there's any confusion as to where you are. So this is the way we've got to go. Back through here. Kind of a bit of a mission to backtrack all this way, but we'll get it done. So just here on your left, you'll find this one regenerator hanging out. Slap on the rifle, and this guy has a lot more parasites in him. You can also get the two bugs, one stone achievement here if you didn't get it already, but yeah. This can be a little bit frustrating to do because usually these guys have like two or three parasites, and this guy's got like ten or something. I just keep shooting them. Do your best to get rid of them. It was a terrible shot. I hit him in his heel. All right, a few more to hit. There we go, I hit two there. I think that's got him. Sorted. You can go and cash that one in now. All right. So when you reach the room that has the amber in it, you can get a crystal or treasure. This is just before Ashley gets taken. There's also a yellow herb right there on that shelf. I'm not sure if I included that, actually. I may have, but let's see. No, I didn't. But yeah, you saw that yellow herb on the left on that shelf, right? Yep, yeah, you did. There's no achievement for getting all of the yellow herbs or upgrading Leon's health, but... Worth a mention, worth a mention. Go ahead and grab that one for yourself. I feel like I've shot... I've probably missed a couple of the yellow herbs. Um, I'd be more bothered about it if there are achievements or trophies, but it's a cool thing to to add. Maybe I'll give it a little timestamp in the description for anybody who's just scanning through looking for those. There's that Castellan as well. We'll just go and get this gold bar. Which is down here. Yep. Sorted. And we've got another yellow herb. This one didn't get away from me. This is during the fight with uh, Krauser. When you come around here and the wall falls down, if you swing round to the right, there's the yellow herb. My inventory was a bit full here, so I had to mix it with a red and a green, but there we go. And last but not least, you can get the Hunter's Knife, which counts as a weapon when you defeat Krauser. So that's it for Chapter 14. I hope you found the video useful. Let me know if you have. Uh, other videos will be linked around on screen and in the description for you. Have a great day, and until next time, take it easy.